Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Minnie, and I'm not in the best of moods. You want to know why? Because I've already filmed this mission, and unfortunately, it's making me do it again because it didn't capture the Warthog run. Makes me sad face. Anyway, <clears throat> let's do this on the Maw. Here's ready for that awesomeness on normal. Cutscene time. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. Basically what Cortana said. Ugh. Basically, my bad, what Cortana said is, um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and run inside the ship's engine core and blow it up, thus making the Halo Ring go kaboom somehow. Flood, do not hurt me. The plasma rifle is very... Oh man, it's early morning, I cannot do this. The plasma rifle is very, very, uh strong against the flood as you can tell but what's even stronger is uh, the shotgun which has already been proven still playing with my controller by the way Everything has a weakness when it comes to bullets. Bullets! There's another one. Actually, stick him. My God. He obviously wants to kill me. Ah. I'll beat you to death. Haha. Take that. The bridge. We made it. Let's get to work. Yeah, I remember playing this on Legendary. Oh, that was so tough for some reason. This part right here. Because of those fuel rod guys. 
Lucky for me though, this isn't legendary. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tap. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time! Human history, is it? Fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization! To think that you would destroy this installation, as well as this record! I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. He stopped the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless and- At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor... He's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted... I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief! Sentinels! Alright, here we go, Senti. Take that, I don't need to fight you. So I'm running away from you. The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there. This is basically a backwards Pillar of Autumn mission. Except twice as epic and having zombies in it. This is my favorite mission of the game, too. Because I love Flood though. I don't know why a lot of people hate him, but I love him. My favorite enemy. Anyway. Enemies and more enemies. I'm not gonna fight them. Because I don't have to. Thank god you don't have shields. I hate those shield guys. Uh No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> Couldn't make it up. These enemies will come forever if you just stand in that hallway. It's pretty cool. Yay. Ooh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Yesterday I was having a really good commentary day, and then I was stupid enough not to do my video editing right. 
that you get when you're playing Xbox while doing your videos. You skip the most epic part of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna go switch out this thing here. Set a monstrosity for a uh, a rocket launcher. Invisible? You kidding me, right? Invisible flood. That's what I love about this game. It's the only Halo game out of all of them that have invisible flood. I don't know. I just think that's pretty cool. Alright, let's light this fuse and run away. See what I did there? Because it's called light fuse, run away. Huh. <laughs> Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the count now. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Oh god, so what you're telling me is that I have to blow up the ship? I already knew that because I played this, but nah. You know, it's always nice to have a little recap. Take out the rocket. Good! Step one complete! We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. No, I don't. It's closed. We need explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyze it. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. Let's take this thing down, or not. No, no, yes. One more left. I'm probably gonna jinx myself here, but I'm surprised I haven't died yet. Hit you with a rocket. That did it. <laughs> the engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! Let's move out. Then back in, then out again. Mm -hmm. Grenade in. That was just genius what I did right there. And we take one long ride up. And then we have to drive off the exploding ship. Oh god. No. Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. 
Oh, really now? We have six minutes before oh, oh, that's gonna blow up. We need to evac now. No, 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 don't, don't kill me. Let's let's drive. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here when it blows. And this is the best part of the game. If you don't constantly flip out of the Warhog. You know what, I'm gonna do a 360 at some point on this thing. Alright, many you got this. Come on, only 600 more meters to go. Ah, uh, damn it. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, don't hurt me. So close, don't you dare drive me off the edge. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold ah, good. Here. Hey, over here. Oh my god, you look screwed up. Two covenant banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again, evade. Echo four nineteen. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. That sucks. Inventory shows one long sword fighter is still docked in launch bay seven. If we move now, we can make it. I mean, Echo 419 helps you out throughout the whole game, and now he's just gone, dead. That sucks. Because I don't actually have words for how much that really does. But now I have to escape on my own through a fighter, which is a kilometer away. Awesome. Come on, I barely nicked you. You shouldn't have died. Oh, yes, the 360 is coming up. Actual 360. Sad face. Remember the first time I played through this on an anniversary? Well, when it came out. Uh, I actually got the achievement where you don't fall out of the Warhog once. And it was also my first time ever not falling out of the Warhog. Because all the other times I had ever played it, it uh, I had always fallen out. Running. Not ending my perfect streak. Uh, 
explosion. So crap, anyway, that's gonna kill me. Yes! Shut them down, we'll need them later. Fancy a look? Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. Alright, well the credits are rolling. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Well, the credits are still going to be rolling, but, you know, I won't be talking. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and comment, and tell me I'm awesome. Yay, happy face. <laughs>
Alright, so as you saw from there, Guilty Spark is obviously alive, which means that there will be a second one. Yay, I will do that one as well, but anyway, that's the end of this, and goodbye.